came from a can. Yes, it did. What is our item today, bro? Uh, we're eating whole abalones. Mm. Abalone. Abalone. That sounds fancy. <laughs> abalone. It's only actually fancy if you add the abalone. Oh. oh. It's it actually family whole. Wow, the label is actually. Uh, I don't know, like, I'm like, I want to look at the front, but it's the same fucking thing. Jesus Christ, I am retarded. <laughs> we all do this, but I just now realized it myself. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm disturbed by the fact that this says whole abalone type shellfish. And in the ingredients, it says abalone type shellfish. Like, is there another abalone that's not shellfish? Tell us in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. So basically it's just this and a little bit of salt and water in here. So mm -hmm. it's going to suck. Yeah. Uh, I would assume this is going to be similar to the top shell. Uh, yeah. Like, we found it right next to it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do my best sketch impression and be like, it's just chicken. It's just chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that uh, snails and those type of things uh, are... Oh yeah, there's the foot. Really soft and like mucus. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, let's get this big old fucking vagina out here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Wow, it's very well formed. <laughs> oh, we each get we each get one of our own. Not that we're gonna eat the entire thing, but yeah. Okay, so let's. Uh, I need some Chianti. Oh, look at that. It comes apart really nicely. Actually, this smells and just kind of look. I don't know if it's just because we've come so far since we did the top shell. Mm -hmm. This actually doesn't seem all that bad. It is kind of strangely textured. Uh, mixed feelings on this one. It's not that bad, Chomp. <laughs> well, no, it's like overall, it's not all that bad, but it's just one of those things. Since we do what we do with the AK from a can, it's kind of gross just out of the can. Like I can see where this would actually be good if it was even heated up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's kind of weird. It's almost got like a tofu texture to it. It's slightly chewier than tofu, but. That's weird. I think if we had like seafood flavored tofu. <laughs> so here we go. One whole abalone. Ooh. You can kind of see that uh, this is where its business was. <laughs> A little <laughs> hole. All right, here we go. You sir are a boss. It kind of smells a little tuna fishy. Yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of, like canned tuna or... You know, <laughs> that might have been helpful while you were reviewing it to actually... I, I can never like that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whole abalone. <laughs> I'm glad he kind of has the same weird face that I did, though. It's like your mouth saying one thing and your brain saying a completely different thing, right? What? The texture is nice. <laughs> the flavor is pretty good. It doesn't taste like, you know, clammy. It's not too chewy. It goes down smooth. I'm trying to figure out the texture. It's not quite like a scallop, like a cooked scallop, you know. It's nice and soft. It's got a taste between chicken and tuna. And the consistency is like between chicken and, let's see here, what is that? <laughs> It's beguiling me. Hold on. Um, texture is like a... Oh my god. It's kind of like an eggplant texture. That's close. But it's a bit more... It's a bit more chewy than that. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's not like, like bologna. That's, that's where I was going with, like, with the uh, deep fried tofu. Yeah. A little like bit chewier than that. And it reminds me of something, but it's like... Maybe it's just like 
a, a kind of synthetic rubber you shouldn't eat <laughs> that I had in my mouth as a kid for some reason because I was bored. It's but it's like, <laughs> maybe that's it. <laughs> like those really expensive earplugs that are kind of foamy and squishy and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Texture is, is nice, flavor is not disagreeable. Like Rose said, uh, you could cook this up into something really, really good. I can see why abalone is so expensive. I don't think I've ever had it in the past, but two thumbs up, that's pretty darn good. So just uh, sticking your fork into it, it's got a very tender texture. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's like a rubber eraser? Yeah, yeah eraser, kind of. It's like a tender eraser. Yeah. Mm. Wait, maybe like a, a really cured pork. Yeah. Something like that? Like a really cured chicken or really cured pork? Mm hmm Because it's got, it's got like a give to it, but at the same time, it's a nice, chewy texture. Yeah, and like you're saying, the the, the aroma, very, like a just a light tuna. Light tuna, yeah. Maybe a little bit of chicken-ish? A little bit. Just, just barely a hint. That's, it smells good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love tuna in the can, so cheers. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. How about like a uh, consistency of a sautéed mushroom? That's kind of what I was thinking when you're, mm. you're like, you're like ah, there's something. Yeah. It's like a, it's kind of like a button mushroom or like a portobello. That is lovely. Isn't it? Wow. Isn't it weirdly like attractive? <laughs> it has the texture yeah. of a really well cooked yeah. tongue. Is to me. Ooh. Like. Almost like a sheep's tongue, except even more tender. Yes. It tastes like the cheek of a baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. For those of you not fortunate enough to have rolled with Colt Moo for a while, tongue is amazing. Absolutely delicious. It's similar to that. It's like, I don't know, it's just such a tender muscle sort of thing going on there. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. The flavor, like Lofi was saying, a light tuna to chicken. I could, yeah, it's like, now I understand... <laughs> Why abalone is so highly prized. Yeah. Because you get one of these motherfuckers fresh, cook that up, oh my god, that's got to be just amazing. Abalone. Yeah. You got to try this. Mm -hmm. Abalone. Fantastic. Yeah. This has been It Came From a Can. Right on. Thank you for watching. Mm-mm.